Essential for all searching are the search terms. Without proper search terms, it is difficult to succeed. Here are a few useful pointers. Begin with a subject statement and be clear with what you are looking for. Get a general view of the subject field through different encyclopedias, dictionaries or by using, for instance, Google. Reflect on what words and terms that are relevant and which ones are being used within the subject field. To your aid is a link on a university library's webpage to different encyclopedias and dictionaries. You can also use the subject guide for your subject field to find encyclopedias and dictionaries. Try finding synonyms to your words or terms. Reflect if the words or terms are everyday language, more of a technical language or an academic language or terminology. Also decide if they are slang words, in words or maybe new words that are not yet established. Sometimes it is okay to use abbreviations and sometimes it is preferable to write a full length words. Work your way through it. You have to translate your search terms into English. English is the most common language for publishing research and you have to use the search terms in English to be able to find the material. Bear in mind that some expressions can be different between British and American English. When you have found a book or an article you wish to use, you can look it up in, for example, a database and use its information about this particular book or article. Material added in databases are provided with words or terms that describe the contents of the material. These words are normally called subject terms, keywords or descriptors, depending on which database you are using. The words are chosen at will, automatically generated or chosen from a reviewed vocabulary, a so-called thesaurus, which is a list of words and terms that each database produces, supplies or puts together. It may also be the author, him or herself, that has chosen the words to describe the contents of the material.